Fucking drawer. No, you can't shoot your granny off the bus. No, you can't shoot your granny off the bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, sober for vegetarian, sober for Mr. T. Long lasting sweetness, that's me. Right. <clears throat> Let's get going. Hello there folks and welcome to a Mr T whiskey review on the Maltman Mike and Friends whiskey channel. Now if you haven't already done so subscribe below you'll get the best whiskey reviews anywhere in March. Uh, again March what's it famous for? Not just being March. Irish St Patrick's Day. thought we'd bring you an Irish whiskey this one, some of you may, you know, recognise from the pre-Christmas run-up. This one was sold by Aldi, of all places. It's a 26-year-old whiskey. It's a single malt. Uh, I've had one up there and one's gone as a sample to somebody else. So, without further ado, in fact, for a start colour. I don't think it gets that colour for being 26 year old. I think I could be wrong. Shoot me down if I am. It may have colour in it. Why do I always sniff a bottle of whiskey? Ooh, ooh, spillage at the side of the glass. Spillage at the side of the glass. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can't be wasting good liquor. <clears throat> Isn't that quite a nice bottle, to be honest? Irish Reserve, single malt Irish whiskey, aged 26 years. Please drink responsibly. Stupid thing to put in a bottle. Product of Ireland. Now, it doesn't say where in Ireland, because that would be giving the game away on good old Aldi. Produced in Ireland, bottled in Scotland. Marvellous. This single malt Irish whisky has been matured in traditional handcrafted casks for over 26 years until it reaches, a, sorry, achieves a perfect balance of exceptional smooth flavour and harmony with sweet, delicate oak. Superior reserve. That's what it just says in the front of the tin. Now then, going off the back of the tin, it says immensely fruity. Notes of ripe red apples, tropical fruit and caramelised pear. Subtle oak, tannins and vanilla and depth and complexity. That's in the aroma. On the taste we're going for beautifully smooth and rich with an abundance of fruity sweetness. Woody spices developed over time as the oak notes develop over two decades come through. And finish, long lasting sweetness. Well, I do believe there's only one way you can actually prove that and that's in the tasting image intensifies off again now once again as I say I've got a bit of a sore throat there's a bit of cumbria you make here in the glass so if you do see me taking a swig it's because of my sore throat however hopefully the whiskey's uh, gonna sort that out aromas Mm. I can't see that without specs. Did I say tropical fruit? Pineapple. Mango. Brayburn apples. So that's going back to the red apples and I think I did say as well. But there's a slight sweetness there. So I'm thinking possibly E150 in that. Maybe not a lot, but I could be wrong. There is a little bit of oakiness in there as well. 
there's something else underlying there. Now, this has been bottled at 40%. I reckon they've either done it at 26 because it was dropping so close to being under the 40 that I had to get it done, or they've maybe thinned it out a little bit with something else. Yeah, definitely pineapple, definitely mango. Brayburn apples. Kiwi. Yeah, kiwi. But it's got those. If anything, it, what it does remind me of is remember the little apple hard boiled sweeties they used to get? Like that. Not unpleasant though. Right, on to the taste. Pineapple again. Bit of kiwi. I'm getting guava. And there's a little bit of like citrusy, orangey in there. Pleasant. Hmm. Spice wise. Bit of cinnamon, bit of nutmeg. Definitely getting there. Cinnamon, nutmeg. Sounds a little bit stupid, maybe a little bit of all spice. Not old spice, but a little bit of all spice. Quite pleasant. Now, <clears throat> Aldi have a tendency coming out of the festive period to bring us some gems like this. I had the uh, pleasure of having the 40 year old port before Christmas. I've had three bottles that over the festive period. That was exceptionally nice, really nice. In fact, it was a bit too easy drinking. It's just like drinking plum juice. Uh, they brought us another Glenmarnock a bourbon finish this time rather than the sherry finish and it was at a lower ABV equally as nice they brought us this and they also brought us a single grain now I might be up for doing the single grain if anybody wants me to it was the solo one so maybe I could do a head off with uh, that horrible blue stuff that Mr Mike gave me but never mind anyway It says on the tin, long lasting sweetness as a finish. I'd argue that. It's sweet, not overly sweet, not a sickly sweet. It's got a sweet finish, but it doesn't last. Now, I am going to put a little bit of uh, water in this. One, two, three. Don't want to overdo the water. It's uh, it's already sitting at 40%. I 
I could put a couple of teaspoons in like some other people do but that's their choice That red apple's gone to green apple. Still the pineapple. Cantaloupe melon. Another that orangey, fleshy melon. That. Yeah, that's about it on the nose. Slight spice. Again, maybe a cinnamon y nutmeggy spice on the nose. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I don't take a drink of water, I'll be coughing all the way through this and have to start again, which means you're drinking more whiskey. <coughs> yeah, right. That's weird. Bit of water, bit of tannin. It was the same in the quiet man. You add a bit of water, it brings out a bit of tannin. It's weird. Very nice. Tasty weird. Wouldn't say no to having this again. What do I mean by that? Oh, that's right, I've got two bottles. Why do I all buy two of everything? But anyway, finish wise, no, still not as, still not a long finish, still not as it says. But would I, uh, would I happily share this with somebody? Yeah, I would. If uh, the Maltman fancies a, a little snifter, he's more than welcome to come around and have a few with me. But uh, until then, if you do like what we're doing, hit the subscribe button just below. If you've had this and you want to share your thoughts and comments on it, then please do so. Again, insert them below. We'll happily reply to any of your comments that you put down. And likewise, if there's anything you think that we would like to try or we should vlog, within reason, we're not talking about thousands of pounds worth of Macallan or you know, tens of hundreds of pounds of whatever, Keep it reasonable, keep it within, you know, £50 worth. If there is something special that you would like us to try, then feel free to send us a sample. Just get in touch, and we'll get back to you with our addresses, and you can forward something on to us. But, yeah. Irish Reserve. No fancy name on it. Single malt Irish whiskey, aged 26 years. Yeah, acceptable. So until then, take care, drink responsibly, and if you're doing dry march, good on you. Likewise to the Maltman, good on you. Slange, cheers, goodbye. Please click subscribe, it really helps us when you do that, and click the bell so you never miss a new Triple M and Friends video.